Crazy facts about dictators. In 2022, Kim Jong-un's North Korean government publicly executed three teenage boys, two of which were executed for watching South Korean TV dramas, and the third was killed for murdering his stepmother. North Korean officials allegedly told the locals that the crimes were equally evil. In 1967, the Romanian dictator Nicolae Ceausescu's government imposed limitations on abortion and contraception and demanded that women undergo mandatory monthly monitorings by gynecologists. Pregnancies were closely monitored from detection to childbirth with the secret police even observing hospital procedures. In 2006, Colonel Gaddafi warned about the dangers of football addiction, stating that some of the side effects included psychological and nervous sickness, leading to angina, strokes, diabetes, blood pressure, and early senility. The time Donald Trump sued a man for calling him a millionaire. On January 23, 2006, the self-proclaimed second most presidential president of all time after Abraham Lincoln filed a $5 billion lawsuit against Timothy L. O'Brien, the author of Trump Nation, The Art of Being the Donald. Trump's official reason for the lawsuit was because O'Brien claimed that Trump was not a billionaire and was in fact only worth a minuscule $250 million. At the time, Trump claimed that his net worth was $2.7 billion. The lawsuit sought $2.5 billion in compensatory damages and an additional $2.5 5 billion in punitive damages. O'Brien even claimed that during a book signing, Donald Trump's attorney approached him and quietly told him to stop promoting the book or we're going to get you. Officially, Trump's lawyer stated that the vile statements in the book were intended to embarrass Trump and damage his business and professional dealings, as well as to help increase sales of the book. However, a judge dismissed the lawsuit in 2009. Later in 2016, Trump told the Washington Post, I spent a couple of bucks on legal fees and they spent a whole lot more. I did it to make his life miserable, which I'm happy about. Disturbing facts about historical figures. Thomas Jefferson fathered multiple illegitimate children with one of his slaves, Sally Hemings, who was also the half-sister of his wife. After Marilyn Monroe died, several reporters bribed guards at the morgue to take pictures of her corpse. After learning that there was a shortage of prisoners to be thrown to the wild beasts at an event, the Roman Emperor Nero is said to have ordered that members of the audience be seized by his guards and thrown into the arena. And to stop them complaining, he ordered that their tongues be cut out. William the Conqueror's body exploded at his funeral and his decomposing corpse could be smelled by the attendees. The hunt for the Nazi gold train. According to legend, in 1945, as it became clear that the Nazis were going to lose the war, they loaded a train with valuables taken from the victims of the Holocaust and other treasures and artworks, and sent the train off into the mountains in Poland to be hidden in a secret tunnel. Most historians believe that the train never existed and is only a myth. However, in 2015, two owners of a mine exploration company claimed to receive information from a deathbed confession that gave a location to where the train was. They then used ground-penetrating radar technology that managed to take images that confirmed the possibility of a train in the Polish city of Walsbrek. After making a deal with the Polish government, two teams were given authority to examine the site, the second of which determined that there was no evidence of a train but perhaps a collapsed tunnel. The two men continued their search and carried out an excavation that cost $131,000 secured from private sponsors, although that dig was eventually halted when nothing was found, and the radar image originally thought to be a train was found to be a natural ice formation. However, the two men still believed the site to be the location of the lost Nazi train. Crazy facts about dictators. Colonel Gaddafi wanted to abolish Switzerland and told Time magazine that the country was a world mafia and not a state. He even submitted a proposal to the United Nations recommending that the country should be split up and given to Germany, France and Italy. This Egyptian Saddam Hussein lookalike claimed that an Iraqi gang attempted to kidnap him with the intention of forcing him to make an adult entertainment video whilst pretending to be the Iraqi dictator. In 2012, Mohammed Bashir stated that a group of men offered him the equivalent of £205,000 to star in an erotic film whilst pretending to be Saddam Hussein. However, after he rejected them due to his Islamic faith, the men tried to kidnap him at gunpoint, but during the ordeal he was thrown to the pavement and hit his head and the kidnappers drove away. Kim Jong-un has stated that Russia will prevail in the fight against Western imperialism. He was also quoted in a letter to Putin as saying, We send warm wishes to you, the Russian army and the people of Russia, for their holy fight to preserve world peace. Disturbing facts about World War II. In Great Britain in 1939, 750,000 pets were killed in preparation for food shortages during World War II. The event became known as the British Pet Massacre. In 1944, nine American pilots who were shot down during bombing raids over a small island in Japan managed to escape their planes. However, eight were captured by the Japanese and then tortured and killed. Four of the men were then cannibalized by Japanese soldiers. Incredibly, the only man to escape was the 20-year-old future president, George H.W. Bush. There was a 
concentration camp specifically for children. The camp, nicknamed Little Auschwitz, housed three to five thousand children, a third of which died due to beatings, denial of food, drenching in ice cold water and grueling forced labour. Why would Kim Jong-un want to assassinate his brother? Prior to 2001, Kim Jong-un's half-brother Kim Jong-nam had originally been considered to be his father, Kim Jong-il's favourite child, and the heir apparent to the head seat of the North Korean government. This was until Kim Jong-nam attempted to visit Tokyo Disneyland with a false Dominican passport using a Chinese alias. After being caught, he was deported to China, and the incident reportedly made Kim Jong-il so embarrassed that he cancelled a planned visit to the country. After this, Kim Jong-nam fell out of his father's favour, although Kim Jong-nam himself believed that the real reason for his father's change of heart was due to his advocating for reform. In an email to the editor of a Japanese newspaper, Kim Jong-nam declared that he insisted on North Korean reform and market opening, a decision he believed that in the eyes of his father turned him into a capitalist. It was believed by many that after Kim Jong-il's death, if Kim Jong-un's leadership showed signs of weakness, China would aid Kim Jong-nam in replacing the new dictator. However, on February 13th, 2017, in the Kuala Lumpur International Airport, Kim Jong-nam was assassinated after being exposed to VX nerve agent. Crazy facts about the CIA. They faked a vampire attack. After World War II, whilst the American army was fighting the rebel group known as the Hawks in the Philippines, the CIA agent and psychological warfare pioneer, Lieutenant Colonel Edward G. Lansdale, learned about a vampire-like creature believed to roam the Filipino hillside and drink its victim's blood. Known to the locals as the Aswang. So, to unsettle the Huck insurgents, under the orders of the CIA, American soldiers kidnapped a member of the Hucks, punctured his neck and drained his blood before leaving his corpse on a trail to be found by the Hucks. After the Hucks discovered the body, they fled the region in fear for their lives. The CIA once attempted to create a robot spy catfish. The robot was named Charlie and was an unmanned underwater vehicle designed to collect water samples. However, the project was abandoned after it was deemed impractical. There is a CIA museum that exhibits the agency's history, past spy weapons and equipment and documents. It is located in Langley, Virginia. However, it is not open to the public. Al Sadi Gaddafi, the son of Colonel Gaddafi, was, for a brief period, a football player who played in the Italian First Division. He played for the team Perugia, but only for two official matches, and reportedly hired Diego Maradona as a private coach for a period. It is believed that Al Sadi's transfer to the Syria A was due to the then Italian president Silvio Berlusconi's attempts to help the prospect of future trade deals with Colonel Gaddafi. According to the book Idi Amin, the story of Africa as icon of evil. Various sources suggest that Idi Amin regularly ingested a drink known as Yakan water, also known as Allah's water. The drink is mixed with a plant known in Uganda as Kamiojo, which when taken in large quantities causes extreme excitement and elation. It is believed that when Amin made some of his more outlandish remarks, such as wanting to meet the Queen of England or announcing himself the King of Scotland, he may have been under the influence of Yakan water. The dictator of Indonesia, Suharto, was accused of amassing $45 billion during his 32-year presidency. In the year 2000, he failed to appear in court and was later declared too ill to stand trial. The Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Janale Luam, was a much beloved figure amongst the Ugandan people and a leading critic of the brutal dictator Idi Amin. In 1977, the Archbishop delivered a letter of protest to the dictator against the brutality of his regime. Shortly after, he was accused of treason and arrested along with two other cabinet members. Luam was labelled as being an agent of the former Ugandan president, Milton Obote, and he was accused of preparing to stage a coup against Amin. The day after Luam's trial, Radio Uganda announced that the three men had mysteriously been killed in a car crash after they had supposedly tried to escape and overpower the guard driving the car. However, when the Archbishop's body was returned to his family, it had multiple bullet wounds. According to a witness, the three men had been taken to an army barrack and beaten, tortured and executed. There has even been reports that Armin himself pulled the trigger. The Archbishop's death sent shockwaves around Uganda and the world and sowed the seas for the beginning of the end of Idi Amin's regime. Since 2015, Uganda has had a public holiday on the 16th of February to celebrate Janelle Luam's life. Crazy facts about dictators. After Joe Biden commented that a potential North Korean nuclear attack would result in the end of the regime that launched it, Kim Jong-un's sister, who was considered crucial to the North Korean regime, stated that President Joe Biden was an old man with no future, going on to say he is not at all capable of taking the responsibility for security and the future of the US. Kim Jong-un himself called Biden's comments irresponsibly brave. In 2020, as the COVID epidemic spread throughout Europe, the Belarusian dictator Alexander Lukashenko refused to lock down his country.
country and urged that his citizens fight Covid by drinking vodka and taking at least two saunas a week. In 1938, the dictator of the Dominican Republic, Rafael Trujillo, expressed a willingness to accept 50 to 100,000 Jewish people into his country, as well as many German Jews who were trying to escape Nazi Germany. However, only around 700 Jewish people took the invitation. Trujillo's generosity is believed to have been due to the desire to whiten the people of his country, believing that the Jewish European men would marry Dominican women and produce lighter-skinned children. Crazy facts about dictators. In a phone conversation on February the 25th, 2011, Colonel Gaddafi warned Tony Blair that jihadists would attack Europe if Gaddafi's regime was allowed to collapse, stating that the jihadists want to control the Mediterranean and they will attack Europe. Continuing, an organization has laid down sleeping cells in North Africa called the Al-Qaeda organization. The sleeping cells in Libya are similar to the dormant cells in America before 9-11. On May the 17th, 1977, the dictator of Ethiopia, Mengistu Haile Mariam, spoke in front of a rally of 200,000 people and smashed vials of red liquid on the ground whilst pledging that his enemies would see their blood flow. It is estimated that he was directly responsible for the deaths of 2,000 people and the torture of at least 2,400. Under his regime, somewhere between 500,000 to 2 million people are believed to have died, most during the Ethiopian famine. Richard Nixon once stated that the dictator of Spain, Francisco Franco, was a loyal friend and ally of the United States, adding that he unified a divided nation through a policy of firmness and fairness. Franco is estimated to have killed up to 200,000 people Crazy facts about dictators. In a speech on January the 1st, 2018, Kim Jong-un announced that his country's nuclear forces were completed and added that a launch button was always within reach. In response, the then president Donald Trump tweeted, Will someone from Kim Jong-un's depleted and food-starved regime please inform him that I too have a button, but it is a much bigger and more powerful one than his, and my button works. According to Business Insider, in 2021, the then head of the Belarusian KGB was recorded on tape eight years previously, planning the murders of three Belarusian dissidents on the orders of the dictator of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko. During the same meeting, according to EU Observer, Pavel Sheremet, a Belarusian dissident living in Russia, was also discussed. Sheremet died in a car bomb explosion in 2016, a death that, according to EU Observer, was graphically explained in the meeting in almost the exact same way he died. After President Truman met Joseph Stalin, due to the Soviet dictator's 5'4 height, the president referred to him as a little squirt. 